Gavin. Welcome back to another episode of the Play on GA podcast, the Club Roundup. And this is a Gaelic football edition with Luke. We're going to start with, in my opinion, the most competitive club football championship in the country. That is the Tyrone Football Championship. We'll start with the first of the two semi finals, Cole Island winning by a point against Ergo Kiron. They won by three goals and six points to 14 points. Heartbreak for Ergo Kiron, a very exciting young team. They got the likes of Peter Hart. They got the likes of Derek Hanavan. But they're out of the championship now at the semi final stage. Cole Island into the final. Fantastic result for them. Yeah, absolutely. And this was this was a this was a crazy kind of game that uh, it was a huge comeback, I suppose, for Cole Island. Even when they were down to thirteen men, they'd kind of they'd lost uh, as well. County man Michael McKernan too, and they've lost uh, they lost Peter Heron as well. And then they still kind of found the strength to kind of come back. And uh, yeah, look, they they uh, despite kind of the 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 down previous the down two kind of key men for the, the team they managed to get over the line in the end and look there was very very dramatic scenes as well particularly with the Cormac O'Hagan free well outside the forty five that uh that ultimately sealed it for them so it was uh yeah it was kind of uh it was a surprising one Eric Kieran played very very well for it and probably uh will have felt themselves probably that they completely left us behind them. They outscored them completely, <laughs> 14 scores to nine. They played a lot of the better football, but ultimately, I suppose, goals win games. And look, it was a really, really exciting kind of finish as well, especially the last 10 minutes where, uh, yeah, it was, uh, I suppose, uh, bizarre kind of scenes, really, but a uh, really, really exciting kind of game. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. It was a fantastic game. And it was really nail biting right down to the end. Same in the other semi final, Dramore are back in the Tyrone senior football final for the first time since 2012. They beat their rivals, Trillick, by 17 points to two goals and nine. A very, 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 very star studded Trillick side featuring the likes of Maddie Donnelly. But Dramore, you know, very good performances from Nathan McCarran, Niall Sludden, and the like. And they're into the final, as I said, for the first time since 2012. Which out of the two sides, Luke, are you kind of backing at this point? Uh, I, I probably will go Tremor. I think that, look, they look, there's nearly kind of aspects of the of the, the Cole Island, the uh, Aragal Kieran game that uh, kind of suggests it was nearly a little bit of a smash and grab. Kind of, I know it was, uh, it was a very, very low kind of score to kind of win a senior championship game. So I just think based off that and the roundness kind of of the, of the, the team kind of with the McNabs as well for Jamore Sludden as well all these players that we've discussed already here I would probably lean towards uh, towards Jamore but look it's I suppose this just kind of sums up the nature of the the Toronto Championships that uh, there's like there's no point in having any favourites in it as well because it's one of these competitions that rarely the same team wins it two years in a row kind of so uh, it's so so wide open and probably yeah I think you're right in saying the most definitely the most kind of exciting championship to watch anyway from a neutral perspective and uh, going into it I suppose most people would have backed Trillick and even after kind of after the weekend when you're seeing like what has happened to them and uh, and I suppose what Tremore did to them as well especially in their op- the opening kind of 15 minutes I think uh, I, I think Tremore probably have to be viewed as the kind of heavy enough favourites going into place Cole Island Yeah I would agree with that I'm backing Tremore to get the job done in the final you know, speaking of teams getting the job done in finals, Porrick Pierce's, they had to wait 57 years for their first title. And now they've landed their second one in three seasons. They beat Clonagale by two goals and eight points to 11 points. A fantastic victory for Porrick Pierce's. They've got the Dailies in there, Niall Daly, Connor Daly, Ronan Daly. Up front, then they've Hubert Darcy. They're a very, very strong side for the club game. And deserving champions, in my opinion, in my opinion, in Roscommon, they looked fantastic throughout the entire championship. Second championship in three seasons, proving it wasn't a fluke the first time. And congratulations to them. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, look, we, we remember them kind of in a, I suppose, in a county where St. Bridget's have dominated for so long. That kind of era is kind of done now. And I think Pork Pierce have just stepped up and they've announced themselves kind of as the next team that maybe looks to kind of uh, be consistently competing for Roscommon. So, uh, yeah, look, it's a kind of huge result, I suppose. And I think, uh, look, as you've already mentioned, the kind of that, the, 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 the trio of dailies in that team as well, kind of playing all playing center half back and the two midfielders, like they're absolutely essential for this team huge players, all county players and all kind of in great, great form as well. You look particularly at the weekend with them getting on the score sheet and everything as well. 
Paul Carey was the other kind of big name, I suppose, hitting one tree and only one of them from uh, from a place ball too. So it was a uh, yeah, a really, really deserving win against a, a, a pretty good uh, Clan and Gale side as well that had some pretty household names like Kieran Lennon, Alton Harney as well. So uh, yeah, fantastic win for Park Pearson. I suppose their attention now goes to can they uh, replicate that success in Connacht. Connacht is always really, really tough, particularly the Galway champions coming through. Look, potentially we're looking at Kerr Finn coming there as well. So uh, they have a they have a huge, huge task ahead of them. So uh, I suppose the the goal for them has to be kind of uh, probably bring it to the next level. Now they've won their second kind of Roscommon Championship and kind of in a close succession. But uh, the next evolution, I suppose, for that team has to be competing more closely. I suppose for kind of championships. But look, they will have to face the Galway champions and the Mayo champions. So it's a huge, huge ask. And speaking of the Galway champions, it will be one of Mount Bellew, Moylock and Cora Finn. They're both into the final. Which ones you're back in here? Uh, yeah, look, I'm going I'm gonna um, just I'm gonna say straight out that I'm going Cora Finn. I think uh, look, they the time's on their side. It's still a young team. It's still kind of there's still a lot of players in their prime as well. And look, it's probably one of the best kind of club football teams that we've ever seen, I suppose. The level of dominance that they've recently had has just been unprecedented. And yeah, I don't think it's going to end anytime soon. Yeah, I'd have to agree. They've got Kieran Malloy still there. They've got Ian Burke, Dahi Burke. They're so strong all over the pitch and I'm going with them to win it. And speaking of teams getting the victory, no team got the victory in the Offaly Club football final. Niall McNamee spoiled the party for Tullamore. He kicked a goal in the last minute to rescue Road. This guy has been an absolute legend for Offaly football kind of ever since he burst onto the scene during the mid-2000s. Fantastic footballer this guy is, still going strong. And he kicks the last-minute goal to get a draw for a road against Tullamore. Finishes one goal and eight points each. We'll go to a replay. And Luke, which of these teams are you backing to win in the replay? Yeah, look, well, I, I think that, look, just first of all, anyway, just special mention, I think, to Niall McMeda. Like, the, even despite kind of the lack of success, I think, at Intercounty Level 4, roughly, as well, in recent years, between national leagues, being stuck in Division 4 for long periods and uh, early championship exits, he is kind of a player that, back in his prime, would have started for teams all across the country. And, look, it's just fantastic to see him kind of still performing at this level and still making headlines across the country. So, uh, yeah, I suppose going back to it anyway, I think the key point to take from this is that, look, Road played with 14 men for like a huge part of this game and uh, the entire second half, a fair portion of the first half, down to 14 as well and still come out with, with a draw as well. That momentum going into the into the replay, Tullamore will feel like they left it behind them, I suppose. It was like the definition of a last kick of the game to uh, to get the draw. So like, so often these cases, that's a real sucker punch for the team. They could have won it there. So I'm going to, I think I will go at road to have more success with when they have, they have the full 15 available to them. Yeah, it'll be very interesting to see how the replay goes. Speaking of football finals, Newcastle West, they won the Limerick football title. They beat Adair in the final by a goal and eight points to five points at the Gaelic grounds. Great day for Newcastle West. Congratulations. Yep, look, they've been they've been one of the, the strongest kind of uh, football teams, I suppose, in Limerick in recent years. I know football's not getting the, the level of focus that Hurling is right now, but uh, look, it's important that we kind of uh, to discuss it, I suppose, as well. And uh, I know it wasn't probably the uh, the highest scoring game ever, but uh, yeah, I suppose special mentions to uh, AJ O'Connor who hit the winning kind of goal. I suppose that was the goal that sealed it even if it was comfortable enough for them in the end. But uh, special mention, I suppose, to Newcastle West, they have some really, really good players. Obviously, Ian Corbett, is uh, he's one of the top, top players in the country now at this stage. And I suppose if he was playing for any other county in Limerick, other than Limerick, he would be a household name in the country. And uh, yeah, he's a fantastic footballer from centre half back. And uh, to kind of see them uh, get a bit of success, like it's it's fantastic to see. And look, hopefully, anyway, that they can give Munster a good crack, put it up to the Cork champions, put it up to the Kerry champions, who like that, that's still a wide open in Kerry, too. So uh, yeah, maybe, maybe if we see maybe surprise winners, I suppose, in Cork and Kerry, there's been some interesting results in those two counties so far. And maybe Newcastle West can, uh, can look to go on a bit of a run, maybe. Monster. Yeah, definitely. And we wish them all the best in doing that. So, guys, that is the Play on GA Club Round of Football Edition episode four. We hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, take care.